busted. But uh, any 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 myth that uh, the busting involves exploding stuff, mm. I am totally on board. So you should, you know, I just had a thought that you know. You have so much time to come by the the studio here yeah. that maybe you could use some of that a little more wisely and and do your own show like your own reality show. Scott, Scott, what's this now? I'm way ahead of you. Well, again, come on, you you're ahead me. of me. You know me. I'm an entrepreneur, right? I'm like always got ideas. I'm always thinking about stuff. I'm You've always had trying a lo- to. I do. You have had a lot of ideas that haven't necessarily worked out. We've talked about them on the show. I don't know if you remember any of them, but um, I ring the bell. I guess. <laughs> I mean. Not every idea is going to be genius. It's like Thomas Edison. But it seems to be you know, like, like, like you sink a lot of money into these ideas before. I'm you- a passionate person. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot first and ask questions later. Mm-hmm. You know that's what passionate people do. <laughs> so have you sunk a lot of money into this reality show? Have you already shot some of it? And of course I have. <laughs> okay, well let's hear. I've shot a whole season all my own <laughs> with really? my own money, my own equipment. Huh. I bought the equipment, digital cameras. I'm using those red cameras, have oh, you heard yeah, of those? The high def. They're a big cam- deal, yeah, man. They're amazing. High definition is the future. So, uh, so yeah, I I shot a th- a season of this show hmm. um, that's combining my love of uh, flipping houses and uh, also my love of blowing things up. Okay. And uh, if some network wants to get smart and say, mm-hmm. oh, we have to think zero money into this, all we stand to gain is profits. You mean they don't have to pay you for this show? Well, they got to pay me for the show, but they don't have to produce it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. already produced. So the fee is nominal. I'm just asking for like $8 million for myself because this is yeah. like a labor of love. Per episode. Yeah, this is just to put it on the end. Per ep- exactly. So, How um, many episodes, by the way? Oh, uh, 32. <laughs> okay. Seems like a lot of money. Yeah. Here's, why, does it really? <laughs> it's over $200 million, but... All right, anyway, go for, ahead. For a show that's all ready to go. Yeah, I mean, that's it's true. Like edited. I mean, a lot of people don't know the budgets of TV shows. That's actually... Most people don't. I mean, uh, it's it's getting into Avatar territory, but... It is, really. Like, you remember when uh, they were making uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, mm-hmm. and that show was like a million dollars, a million dollars an episode at one point, and people were like... Oh my God! This is the end of television. Mm. We we better pull a plug on this because uh, it's getting out of Literally, control. Literally, people pulled their plugs out of the wall. I forgot TVs have plugs. <sighs> I wish I didn't use that expression because I feel like it's confusing. What if uh, Patrick Stewart got plugs? Do you think that show would have been more popular? <laughs> I think it's probably too late for him to pull a piven. You know what I mean? Pull Where a it's piv. like he's been seen so much as a bald man. There's yeah. no way he piven just only be like, was bald. Oh, well, and like, all of a sudden, I got hair. Piven was only bald and say anything, and then like got the plugs almost immediately. You forget about PCU. Oh, PCU. That's bald. right. He was bald a fair amount on screen because he was friends with Johnny Q, John mm-hmm. Cusack, mm-hmm. and uh, he put him in a lot of stuff uh, to varying uh, ro- sizes of role. You know, sure. but he has been seen as a bald man a lot enough so that. I think it's a bit disingenuous. He's just pretending he always had hair. Nick Cage, too. Another guy. That guy, I think he's just wearing wigs off of the set. I yeah. think that's what he's doing. Everywhere he goes. Let's get back to the show, though. Let's get back to the show. So this show that I've already shot and and produced, it's all ready to go. Mm-hmm. A smart network can grab this up. Look, okay. we're in a recession. Get smart, fellas. Jeff Zucker, I'm looking at you. This show combines my love of flipping houses with my love of blowing things up. What happens is... Me and my team, me, Coco, some friends of ours, guys I've known since kindergarten, we go into a house. Coco's in this. It's <laughs> yeah, nice to of hear. Course she is. You guys are working together. She's the style, man. I'm the muscle. She's the style. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So um, we go into this house. We look around like, oh, what's wrong with you people? You like, you're like animals eating out of a garbage can. What? What is this? An episode of hoarders? And then we. What is uh, this? An episode of raccoons eating out of garbage cans? Is, is that, that a show? Sh- is it- I was going to ask you that. Is that a show? We almost said it at the same time. Oh, my God. That then would be amazing. Somebody would owe somebody a Coke. Uh-oh. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God no one owes anyone a Coke. I'm glad we don't have to make a special trip to go buy Coca-Cola. <laughs> we could do oh. that after the show if we wanted to, though. No, no, no. Well, of course. But uh, you don't want to be obligated to no, do it. No, that's true. You know? That's true. Yeah. It's just supposed to be fun. That's what Coca-Cola is supposed to be. Uh, a <laughs> refreshing treat on a hot summer's afternoon. So you go into the house. Yes. <laughs> Man, let me talk about it. So you go into this house. You got me so mad, I'm laughing. <laughs> I know, that happens sometimes on the show. We go into this, go into this house. Oh, angle laughing is the worst kind of laughing. Uh, we go in this house. We look around. We're like, this house fucking makes me angry. <laughs> so angry, I'm going to laugh at it. We're going we're gonna to rehab this house, right? And what's the best way to rehab a house? Blow it the fuck up. That's right. We're going to demolish this. You got. We tell people, 
you got 48 hours to get everything out of this house, right? That's mm-hmm. two days. It's in a row. You have 48 oh, good, hours. Good, to get, good. Yeah, it's not like it's random hours where you're one allowed to do March, it. One day in March, one day in No, no, no. It's September. all in a row. To 48 hours, two days to pack up all your shit, get it out of here, mm-hmm. and then we're going to blow this place to kingdom come, <laughs> and we're going to build you a new house. Wow. That, I mean, that actually sounds like a great show. I it, would actually watch that show. It's a great deal because it's like it's a journey for the family, right? Because mm-hmm. they're like, oh, we've been living in squalor. We're so stupid and ugly and fat. <laughs> Why do we allow? I'm, God, you're getting angry I'm getting, again. I'm getting angry. Oh, calm down, Ice T. Don't get so angry. Uh, uh, <laughs> now I'm getting angry. Uh, <laughs> ah! This is so annoying. These God, people. Anger, rage. Uh, oh, blind rage. Rage. Body count. <laughs> so cop killer. Cop- Oh, oh, those cops. Uh, I try oh, not to say not... that so much anymore because yeah, yeah. Uh, people got mad. Yeah, and yeah. they weren't laughing. <laughs> no, they weren't getting angry laughing at you. They were calling the FBI on you. That's right. That's the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Yeah. That's no joke. So, um, Well, I would say depending on the title of this show, I mean, everything needs to be branded correctly, but I think this is actually your best idea yet. No, we got a great title. I mean, the idea is like we go into people's homes, right? We're going straight up in their cribs, and we're saying you got to get this place you got to empty this place out, mm-hmm. and then we're going to demolish it. We're mm-hmm. going to kill this place. Mm-hmm. And uh, So then is, assuming you have a great title, then uh, you're good to go. We have a great title. Let me, let me, title let is, me hear it. It's I great. See. Oh, you want to hear it? Yeah, I would love to hear you it. You don't want to wait till it makes its network television debut? I don't want to wait that 48 hours. You don't want to see it in the TV guide or in your... Uh, DVR uh, upcoming shows directory? I, I would prefer to know it so I can DVR it properly. All right. Oh, good point. You're always two steps ahead. You're like Bobby Fischer or some shit over mm-hmm. there. All right. I feel like Deep Blue, the computer who lost. Mm. You're only one step ahead, like split ends. I'm not as familiar with them as I am with Crowded House. <laughs> I love Neil Finn. Neil Finn, if you're listening, let's collaborate. Serious? Oh, that would be amazing. Wouldn't that be good? Yeah. Me rapping, him singing. I, w- I would do it the other way. Oh! You singing, him rapping. I don't sing that much because I'm, uh, I'm a little ashamed of my voice. That's why it's so special. Ah, you got me there. That's a good point. I'll make it happen. All right. The name of this show, where Ice-T goes in, he demolishes somebody's crib, right? He mm-hmm. destroys it. He blows it to kingdom come, and then builds them a new beautiful house, replacing the old disgusting house. Mm-hmm. It's called Ice-T Causes Crib Death. What I do is I Wait. bring death on their crib, right? They're like... This crib is disgusting. It's got to go. Yeah. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to demolish it. Yeah. I, I see it's going to cause crib death no, up in I here. No, get, I get it. I Again, I think that you have not thought out the actual words in your title, uh, considering that they have right. double meanings. I'm, I'm iced tea. You're iced tea, but so, you, okay. that could They're be They're not going to think like a, a, some glass of iced tea is, is causing crib death. They're going to know it's <laughs> me because of my violent image. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you had the problems with Cop Killer we were talking about. It It seems like... I know. Well, now I'm just directing my, my rage at objects. That's not... Who's yeah. mad at that, right? Well, uh, I think the problem is crib death may have a different meaning than the one that you're you're thinking about. No, I know. Like, probably a lot of white viewers out there will not know that crib also means house, you know? But I think thanks to MTV Cribs, enough people will understand that reference. Like, they'll get like, oh, that's a dwelling. That's a domicile. Can I just bring your attention to the fact that crib death actually means uh, a very unfortunate situation wherein a, a an infant? Uh, I don't even want to go into this. Ice T, can you just look up the term crib death? Like, just do me a favor. No need, Scott. It is uh, washing over me like, like a, a tidal wave of sorrow. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was going to say. Um, I guess I wasn't thinking. Of them as a single uh, term like that. Uh huh. I was thinking of it more in terms of. Uh, you were combining two slang words. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one slang word, really. I mean, death is. That's just. Uh, it's not even slang for death, it's just death. I was uh, using it as a slang word for demolition, I suppose. And uh, now I see I've made a grave error. And uh, I've put an unpleasant association in people's minds with uh, sudden infant death syndrome. Sids for short. Sids, yes. Well, at least at least you can retitle the show. I'm sure you never said it during the show. It's just a title sequence, um, right? I say it roughly every ten seconds. 
It's on my shirt. Oh, no. I'm much like Michael Kors, I wear the same outfit in every single episode. Oh, no. Um, yeah, it's, it's on banners. It's on uh, a lot of posters. It's on a little bug on the screen. I mean, even It's on the cribs that you put into the people's new houses? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Why did nobody tell me, like... Like, especially couples that had children, I would present them with a new crib. But surely you don't uh, have a lot of couples who have new children in this it's show. It's almost all. It's oh, almost no, all. There's I like, see. I think there's two childless couples and they have pets. And on the dog beds, I put it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which I, 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 I takes the thing out of it a little bit, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I nobody refers so. to the dog bed as a crib. That's not bad. Yeah, I think you're safe there. At least those two episodes, as long as you blur out your t shirt and bleep. Every 10 seconds, I think you'd be okay. That doesn't sound like much of a show, though, does <laughs> it? It really doesn't. Ugh. It would I'm be s- frustrating to watch because you're like, what are they saying? What does that shirt say? What's that poster over there say? What's that on the lower third of the screen? Uh, what, I- what is everybody else re- repeating that Ice-T is making them repeat? Because you guys do a chant before every... every. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I have, I have the, uh, the people whose crib it is. I have them yell at the top of their lungs, Ice-T causes crib death. Ugh, I'm so sorry to once again be a spanner in the works, <laughs> if I'm using that phrase correctly. No, you are. It's a UK slang expression yeah, for uh, wrench in the works. Yeah, I heard uh, Rod Stewart use it once and to title his album, and I immediately picked it up and started saying it everywhere, and I think this may be the first time it's appropriate. It's a good album. <sighs> well, Ice, I'm so sorry. Um, back to the old drawing board, huh? <sighs> I guess so. I mean, I sunk a lot of money into this show. Mm. A lot of my money. A lot of my own money. Come talk to me before you before you do that next time. Look, man, it's like I get seized by inspiration and I just got to act, you know? I know how it is. I know it's... You know, I want to surprise people, too. You know, I want to be like, look, I, know, I made like, this new show. Like how you were underneath the uh, console earlier. You love surprises. Yeah, that was fun. But see, sometimes those surprises result in a crick neck. Even that cost me some money. For the, <laughs> really? Well... I, I like coated my body with a sort of uh, enamel to look like more like a statue. Oh, that's right. And you know what? It's not letting the uh, oxygen in your skin breathe, I've noticed. I'm going to die like that lady in Goldfinger. I forgot to leave uh, the small of my back un- unshellacked by this enamel paint. <laughs> well, I see. I hope you'll... Let me, let me ask you this, though. Yes. I look like a statue, right? No, you really do. Okay. I, yeah. All right. But it's kind of worth it. <laughs> it sort of is. Let's get some pictures before you go. Good point. That's a good idea. We'll put them on the website. Okay, so uh, coming up, we have uh, Ben Stiller. Will you stick around while we talk to Ben? Oh, man, I got an idea for that dude. Okay, well, great. Comedy Death Ray. We'll be right back with Ben Stiller coming up.